TM Consulting presents Travel Lift Operations. Travel Lift without a docking plan. First, they find the transverse frame locations of the vessel by knocking on the hull. Then they slide the straps of the lift under the vessel as we see here. They align them to balance the ship on the lift. Of course, once they start lifting, they have load cells that can tell them how the lift is loaded. So they will know if the loading on one of the straps exceeds the lift specifications or if the ship is unbalanced, at which point they can lower the vessel and change the strap locations. Here they lift the boat out of the water. After a power wash, they drive the lift to the ship's docking location. Here, they have set up a preliminary set of keel blocks. As they lower the vessel onto the keel blocks, they adjust the keel blocks to match the shape of the ship's keel by eye. Then they add adjustable screw jack stands on the frames to transversely support the vessel. Then they lower and disconnect the straps, slide them out, and drive away. This docking took four hours, including three hours they stopped just after raising the ship out of the water to power wash the hull. Travel lift with a docking plan. This next ship has a docking plan that requires the ship be docked in a very specific nature. An option was to use a cradle specialized for the ship However, it was unavailable, so they must use a blocking arrangement. Here, the ship enters the pickup location. This time, the plans tell them which frames to lift on, and they've marked out these frames. They slide the straps under and begin to lift, but their load cells indicate the ship is not balanced on the lift. The solution is to cross two of the straps on one frame and shift two of the other straps to balance the load. Here we see the two cross straps. Once the ship is lifted, they give her a quick power wash. They spend time finding a solid approach angle, driving the lift to the blocks, and it's a tight fit. Also, alignment of the ship on the blocks takes time. It is hard to maneuver with precision to get good contact on all blocks. This vessel took eight hours to dock, twice as long as the ship with no plan, not to mention time calculating, assembling, and arranging the blocks. However, this docking was completed as specified.